hey, I'm Stan Arthur, and today I'm going to show you how to do this inside the Adobe Premiere Pro Essential Graphics Panel. University College of Law, who have been members of a Boys and Girls Club, have served as a club volunteer, or will volunteer with a club while a Stetson student. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a graphic uh, with three lines and then bring it in line by line. All right, let's see how we did this. Going over here to the Essential Graphics panel and in the Edit mode up here. Okay, let's highlight this. And now we can see what we did. We, see, we can see that the graphic has three different layers in it. And each layer can then be controlled in the uh, effects controls, depending on which one you have highlighted. You can actually see the three layers here, one, two, three. I have these two collapsed and number three is open because it was the last one I worked on. So not too hard to figure out. So let's start from scratch with an empty sequence. We're just gonna create a graphic on a empty sequence. Uh, using the text tool. You may have noticed that I had created a bulleted list initially. I just create the bullets. Now again, I'm on Windows, uh, not on a Mac, so it's an Alt key. I'm gonna hold the Alt key and press on the number pad, the num pad, 0149, and that creates a bullet point. And we're just gonna say line one. There's your first layer right there. Now we can't hit the return key to create another line. We actually have to create a new layer. So we're gonna do that. Hit the text key again, hit this again, and let's say uh, Alt 0149, line two, click off that, click the text layer again, click Alt 0149, line three. We can now align all these if we if we select all of them and we click this, uh, the, the left alignment there, it's gonna line them all up. And we can adjust their distribution by clicking this button right here. And now all three of them are in line. And we see we've got the three lines over here. Uh, that's line one, line two, line three. Um, change the order of them if we want. So we have one, two, three going down. Let's go to line one, and you can see here that we've got a transform. See, we can move it like this and undo that. Let's go in uh, just a few frames like that. And now we're gonna set a keyframe for this to be the ending spot. So that's gonna be position. We're gonna click the little stopwatch there and then uh, hitting the up arrow, we'll go back to the beginning, and then we can move this one off. And then when we hit the play button, it comes zooming in. Now, if we wanted to ease in, of course, we can pick the last keyframe and set it to ease in. And now we've got this. Now let's do line two. We're gonna move it ahead a little bit. Text line number two. We're gonna call this the ending point, so we'll click the keyframe position for that, move it back a little bit, then we will take it off. Let's go the other way just for fun, okay? Then we're gonna go move it ahead, and we're gonna to go to line three, setting the end position, and then we're gonna move it back a little bit. Let's move this one down. Let's set the keyframe for ease in, and I think we forgot to do that on number two, so let's do that on number two. And let's set this for ease in. Basically, we're done. So one, two, and three. There you go. And that's all there is to it for this simple little exercise. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.